One contract just rewired the future of air combat. Boeing has landed a staggering $20 billion deal to build the F-47, America's next generation air dominance fighter. More secret than anything flying today, this machine is built to surpass even the legendary F-22 and command swarms of drones. And for Boeing, a company that many believed was finished, this moment isn't just a win, it's a resurrection. For years, Boeing was drowning in crisis. The once proud giant of American aerospace had seen its reputation crumble after the disastrous 737 MAX crashes, financial losses piling into the billions, and production delays that shook investor confidence. To many, Boeing's best days seemed locked in the past. Its glory confined to legendary aircraft like the F-15 Eagle and the F-A-18 Super Hornet. But then came the shockwave. Against all odds, Boeing secured the $20 billion F-47 NGAD contract, a lifeline that could not have arrived at a more critical moment. Overnight, a company that was being written off as a relic of the past was suddenly thrust back into the center of America's military future. This wasn't just a win, it was a statement. Boeing had clawed its way back into the fight, proving it still had the muscle to compete with titans like Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman. For Boeing's engineers, pilots, and workers, the message was clear. This was a rebirth, a chance to rebuild pride, and perhaps the beginning of a new golden era. The F-47, better known as part of the Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD program, is no ordinary fighter jet. It represents the U.S. Air Force's most ambitious leap into the future of aerial warfare. While much of the project remains wrapped in secrecy, more classified than even the B-21 Raider, what little we know suggests it's designed to outclass every fighter before it, including the legendary F-22 Raptor. Unlike traditional jets, the NGAD is envisioned as a system of systems. That means the F-47 won't fly alone. Instead, it will operate at the center of an air combat ecosystem, teaming up with stealth drones, harnessing AI-assisted decision-making, and deploying sensors powerful enough to dominate battlefields before enemies even know it's there. Speculation hints at radical innovations, adaptive cycle engines for unmatched speed and efficiency, next-gen stealth materials that make radar detection nearly impossible, and the ability to control swarms of unmanned aircraft like loyal wingmen. The real question looming over military circles is simple yet profound. Is this the final chapter for manned fighters, or the beginning of a new hybrid era where humans and machines share the cockpit of war? The race for the NGAD contract was nothing short of a dogfight among aerospace titans. On one side stood Lockheed Martin, builder of the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning the Sexist arguably the most dominant fighter programs of the last two decades. On the other was Northrop Grumman, the stealth mastermind behind the B-2 Spirit and the upcoming B-21 Raider. Both had the pedigree, both had the momentum, and both were widely expected to secure the deal. Boeing. Almost no one believed they had a shot. Years of delays, scandals, and broken trust had painted them as the underdog. Analysts whispered that this contract would be little more than a two-horse race between Lockheed and Northrop. But then came the surprise twist. The U.S. Air Force made its announcement, and it wasn't Lockheed. It wasn't Northrop. It was Boeing. The decision stunned industry insiders and rattled global defense markets. The stakes of this choice go far beyond corporate bragging rights, billions of taxpayer dollars, decades of military doctrine, and the very future of U.S. Ben. Air dominance now rests on Boeing's shoulders. And that raises the burning question. Was this decision purely about Boeing's technology? Or was something much deeper at play? On the surface, it might seem baffling. Why would the U.S. Air Force hand the crown jewel of its next-generation arsenal to a company still recovering from scandals and setbacks? The answer lies in legacy, strategy, and trust built over decades. Boeing isn't new to building war machines. Their fingerprints are on some of the most battle-proven aircraft in history. The F-15 Eagle, a fighter that's never lost in air-to-air -air combat. The F-A-18 Super Hornet, 
still the backbone of U.S. Navy carriers. And through the McDonnell Douglas merger, decades of design experience that shaped American air power. In many ways, the F 47 represents not just Boeing's future, but the continuation of a lineage of dominance. There's also the political angle. Defense leaders have long been wary of one company, like Lockheed Martin, holding too much power over the fighter jet market. Awarding NG 80 to Boeing wasn't just about technology, it was about balancing the playing field. Diversifying contracts spreads risk, forces competition, and ensures no single aerospace giant can monopolize America's skies. And then there's the strategic trust factor. Despite Boeing's troubled recent history, the Pentagon knows they can mobilize massive industrial resources when it matters most. Awarding them NGAD was a gamble, but also a signal of confidence that Boeing still has what it takes to deliver cutting-edge innovation when the stakes are life or death. But that leaves one lingering mystery. What exactly is inside this secretive F-47 program that made the Air Force bet so big? The truth is, no one outside the Pentagon really knows what the F-47 looks like or what it can fully do. That's how secretive the NGAD program is. In fact, defense insiders say it's classified at a level even higher than the B-21 Raider, America's newest stealth bomber. Still, fragments of information and leaks have painted a tantalizing picture. Early sightings suggest a white-coated stealth skin designed to scatter radar waves more effectively than traditional black coatings. Engineers whisper about adaptive engines, power plants that can shift between fuel-efficient cruising and blistering combat thrust on demand. And then there are the most futuristic claims, that the F-47 will serve as the nerve center for loyal wingman drones, piloting swarms of unmanned aircraft into battle like a commander leading troops. Even the designation F-47 has stirred speculation. Is it just the next sequential number, or a deliberate nod tied to today's political leadership? The Air Force isn't saying, and that silence only fuels more questions. For aviation fans and rival nations alike, the mystery is part of the danger. No one knows where the F-47's limits end, or whether it represents a final era of manned fighters before autonomous systems take over completely. One thing is certain, the veil of secrecy is not an accident. The Air Force wants the world to wonder, and adversaries to fear. If the F-47 delivers on even half of its rumored capabilities, it won't just be another fighter. It could redefine how wars are fought in the sky. For decades, U.S. strategy has relied on a blend of stealth, speed, and precision strike. But the NGAD vision pushes beyond that. Imagine a single pilot commanding a network of drones, each acting as an extension of the jet itself. One could scout enemy defenses, another could jam radar, while others launch precision strikes, all coordinated seamlessly by the F-47. This isn't science fiction, it's the blueprint for a new era of manned-unmanned teaming. By combining human judgment with machine efficiency, the Air Force hopes to maintain an edge against adversaries like China's J-20 Mighty Dragon and Russia's Su-57 Felon, both of which are already challenging American dominance in the air. And the stakes couldn't be higher. If successful, the F-47 could replace aging fighters like the F-22 and become the spearhead of U.S. air power for the next half century. But if it fails, America risks falling behind in a race it cannot afford to lose. For Boeing, the F-47 NGAD isn't just another contract, it's a test of survival. After years of disasters, from the 737 MAX crisis to costly production delays, Public trust in Boeing has been shaken to its core. Many inside and outside the industry still doubt whether the company can truly deliver a flawless, next-generation fighter jet on time and on budget. That's what makes this moment so critical. Billions of taxpayer dollars and America's military credibility now ride on Boeing's ability to execute. One misstep could echo far beyond the company itself. It could tarnish U.S. air power and embolden rivals like China and Russia. Inside Boeing, the pressure is immense. This is their chance to silence critics, to prove that despite recent failures, they still have the talent, technology, and resilience to lead in aerospace innovation. 
For engineers and workers, the F-47 program has become more than just a job. It's a mission to restore pride in a name that once stood as the gold standard of aviation. The truth is simple. If Boeing gets this wrong, it won't just damage their reputation. It could erase their place in the future of military aviation. But if they succeed, it will be remembered as one of the greatest comebacks in aerospace history. The world is watching Boeing's comeback with razor-sharp attention. Allies see the F-47 NGAD as a potential shield that could secure the balance of power for decades. Nations like the UK, Japan, and Australia are already pushing their own sixth-generation programs, and many will look to the F-47 as a benchmark for cooperation or competition. But adversaries, they see it as a threat. China's J-20 Mighty Dragon and the upcoming J-31 are evolving fast, while Russia continues to promote its Su-57 Felon as a rival stealth platform. Both Beijing and Moscow know that if the U.S. can field a fighter more advanced than anything in their arsenals, their air strategies may be forced back to the drawing board. Even beyond geopolitics, the F-47 is already reshaping global defense markets. Billions in export deals, new weapon systems, and partnerships will be influenced by whether this jet soars or stumbles. For Boeing, this means every headline, good or bad, ripples across the globe. In short, the F-47 isn't just America's fighter. It's the center of a new worldwide arms race, one that could determine who controls the skies in the mid-21st century. From near collapse to a $20 billion resurrection, Boeing's story with the F-47 NGAD is nothing short of extraordinary. What began as a company battling scandal and doubt has transformed into the architect of America's most secretive, most ambitious fighter program in history. The F-47 isn't just another aircraft, it's a symbol. A symbol of Boeing's fight for survival. A symbol of America's determination to stay ahead in an era where rivals are racing to dominate the skies. And a symbol of the thin line between triumph and disaster when the stakes involve not just billions of dollars, but the future of global security. For Boeing, this is the defining moment. Deliver and they carve their name back into aerospace history as innovators and leaders. Fail, and the F-47 could become a cautionary tale of lost trust and shattered reputations. So, as the first prototypes take shape behind closed hangars, one question hangs in the air. When the skies of the future fill with sixth-generation fighters, will Boeing's F-47 soar to glory or stumble under the weight of its promise?